Okay, good day. Today is an uh, E-Lecture 6 and uh, this E-Lecture 6 has only four parts. Huh? So let's, let me go to the first part. Uh, the title is Bearing and Sharp. Huh? Let me draw a sharp. Huh? So this is the center line and uh, that's how we represent a sharp. Huh? Shaft. Now a shaft is supposed to rotate. So let me put a rotation axis here. It's supposed to rotate uh, to transfer power to torque. Uh. Now uh, what when a shaft rotates, you need to turn something. Uh, so let's say he's gonna turn a gear. I'm gonna put a gear over here. So this is the gear, and uh, I also want to say that this is the shaft. So when the shaft were to turn the gear, it couldn't turn it both around, or both are circular. So we need to introduce something in between, which we learned the last lesson. It's called the key. So let me put the key over here. You need to introduce a key. So. This is the key seat, and over here is a key weight. So, and let me name it properly. This is called a key. So, with the key, you can turn, the shaft can turn the gear. But then the shaft has to be supported. And here will be supported by bearings. Huh? So, let me just put in the bearing. That's how it looks like. And on the other side, and that's how we support the shaft. Huh? But interestingly, let's understand something within this important part. Huh? If the shaft rotates, this rotate, but this is fixed. Remember, uh, when the shaft rotate, this rotates. Where else this is fixed? This is the important fundamental concept that we need to be mindful of. Otherwise, we will not call it a bearing. Now, let's zoom inside a bearing and look what is a bearing. Uh. So, uh, before that, let me draw the bearing first. I'm going to draw this one, a circle, and a circle. This is called the inner ring. Inner ring. Uh. And obviously, there's a center point, inner ring. Then, round the inner ring, you realize there's a ball, so let me put in the balls. One here, over here over here and on the outer of it oh let me call it this is called the ball it's spherical in shape huh? then uh, let me just put in the one more part Ah, this is called the, if this is inner ring, this obviously will be called the outer ring. There's one more part. Uh. You see, how are we going to prevent the balls to contact each other? How are we going to separate the balls? So basically, the bearing has what we call a cage. You got a cage to cage it. Uh. So something over here. There's a separator, there's a cage. This is the cage. So in short, this is the front view of a ball bearing. And that brings me to the end of part one. I will continue on part two 
on how are we going to name the bearings and how are we going to dimension the bearings accordingly. Thank you.